Well, the War Memorial Golf Course is a muddy mess tonight. If you drive by, it's hard to miss it. After all that rain and the fans tailgating for the Hogs game, it damaged a lot of that grass. KRK4 Susan L. Corey joining us now. And Susan, this could be one of the most expensive post game fixes they've had in a while. Every time there's a Little Rock game, the city knows there's going to be some damage since fans park on the golf course. In the past, it's cost more than $10,000, but thanks to this year's weather, that cost could be even higher. Gearing up, Chad Warren came to War Memorial Park ready to ride. I was like, where did all this come from? But he didn't plan on a bike path caked in mud. I was shocked just to see uh, that there were tire tracks everywhere. The park took a beating during Saturday's tailgating. With downpours causing flooding and cars driving over the golf course, leaving it so rough, no one will be teeing off until it's back on par. I'm thinking, well, you know, uh, that's interesting that the city allows that to happen. They must uh, be used to it. Deep, muddy ruts like this one are covering the golf course area, but the city tells me it's okay since it has a deal with War Memorial to take care of all the damage. I was like, whoa, what happened here, you know? Until it gets cleaned up. There's no stepping around the mess. Look at him, white shoes. A cost the Gonzalez family will put up with, knowing this is the price of the hogs playing in Little Rock. Once a year, you know, it's not bad, but if it's like, it every weekend and stuff like that, nah, I mean. With his son in tow, Warren isn't letting the dirt slow them down. We'll just ride through it and figure it out. Little Rock's Parks Director tells me crews will be out tomorrow evaluating the damage, and that's when they should have a better idea of when they'll start repairs and how much it's going to cost. Back to you.